everyone welcome back to a new vlog we are currently in the car on the way to the Cotswolds well we're actually here now we are like 15 minutes away we're staying in an Airbnb instead of a hotel this time and it's kind of like it's called the hayloft um, and it's like a little barn conversion type thing I'll show you it when we get there I'm not really it looks so nice from the photos and the interiors are really really nice but I'm not really sure like the setup so I will show you when we get there but it's such a nice day it's 19 degrees today so 22. the video 22 degrees the video that I that you would have just watched um, the other day which was my Cotswold like pack with me video um, I based all of those outfits around the fact that I thought it was going to be cold and raining so I was wearing like raincoats and layers and I've literally brought like dresses and um, I have got a few jackets but my outfits are much more summery so I will show you what I'm wearing every day just so that you know um, what I've actually brought with me and to give you some more like spring inspo I think we're gonna go for lunch um, or we get there because we haven't eaten yet it's quarter past two so I will show you where we go I'll take you along on the trip we've got some really nice um, dinners and brunch and lunch and places like that booked so thank you so much for all your recommendations on Instagram I've got some really really good ones so I will include them all in the video and I will maybe leave like a list of places below as well um, in case you are planning a trip but yeah I love the Cotswolds so I'm very excited for just like a chilled weekend it's friday today we're here till monday so we've got a nice few days and some really good things planned so i hope you enjoy the vlog and i will see you when we're at lunch God, I'm looking shiny. We have just had lunch at the most beautiful pub I think I've ever seen. It was so cute, like a little country lane down there. I will leave all the names and stuff below in case you down stay around there. here. Huh? Country lane down there. Down to the pub. <laughs> um, and we've just arrived at our Airbnb and oh my God, I, I literally have said, oh my God, I love it about a thousand times. This is unbelievable. I just want to give you a quick tour because if you are looking to stay in the Cotswolds and this wasn't this isn't like gifted or anything we I literally found this on Airbnb and we just booked it but I really want to share it with you because I think I know a lot of you love the Cotswolds and I stay here a lot so if you're looking for an Airbnb please stay here it's unbelievable so when you come in like your main front door you've got this little entryway everything is just so polished and like I can't even explain it. It really reminds me of Neptune Home. I don't know if you've seen or been to a Neptune Home store before, but it's very similar. So you come up your stairs and then this is like the main area. Everything's just so perfect. It's like such good quality. I absolutely love like all the interiors. These radiators as well are absolutely incredible. Sofa area. There's the little wood fire. They've even got loads of Vogue magazines. I just, this place is just unbelievable. And then this is like a little window and a balcony. I didn't actually know that there was gonna be a balcony. There's the car. And then this is like their little walled garden area. Oh, imagine living here. I've literally been saying to Jack the whole time, like, can we move to the Cotswolds? And then I think this is another Airbnb, so I think they might have a garden, like, this side. Um, but, yeah, I'm actually quite tempted to have a look at that because we want to come back here in the winter for Jack's birthday and maybe we'll book that one. But, yeah, so this is how it's looking from this little balcony. And then, so there's the wood fire. Oh, I just love everything. It's just so nice. Little table. So here's the Vogue magazines I was talking about. And then they've also left us some flowers and some chocolates. 
And then here is the kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. It's actually really similar to Nadia's, very similar work surface. Um, and then in the fridge, they've left us some champagne and also some Cotswold sausages and bacon, butter, eggs, and we've got some bread as well. How cute! It's just so nice, I love it. Okay, and then you come through to this area. You have a jack. This is the kind of like main bathroom with a shower. And then this is the bedroom, which literally feels like I'm walking into the white company store. This is unbelievable. I, can't, I literally cannot believe the price for this. Um, and then this is the ensuite, which has a bath. Gorgeous bathroom. It's just so nice. Like everything is really um, attention to detail. There's loads of books. Just everything is so perfect. I could honestly stay here for like a year. I really love these lamps and bedside tables as well. So yeah, we need to get our bags in from the car and then we've got quite a chilled afternoon. We've got dinner at half eight, I think. So I think we're just gonna chill. I think actually as well, we are allowed, I'm sure it said on the Airbnb like description that we are allowed to go into that garden. So we could actually go and sit out on the grass out there, out on that grass over there. And um, yeah, have some champagne, I guess it's a bit later now we have what have we done i showed you around the barn we this lighting's really nice we oh we went to waitrose and got just a couple of bits for dinner tomorrow because we are gonna have dinner here and we got some wine and then we we're just chilling we just sat on the sofa had the doors open like the little balcony it was so nice just relaxing and now we've got ready for dinner and we're literally just about to leave um i just thought i'd show you what i'm wearing could you hold this Maybe go the other way because the lighting is. No, that the other way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so I am wearing this. Um, it's so weird seeing it that far away. Um, I'm wearing this blouse that I picked up from H and M the other day. I did put this on my stories. Um, I can't find it online, but I'll link a similar one. But it's really pretty, just like kind of chiffon. Um, this blazer is from And Other Stories. And then I've got my Reese, just go down a little bit. I've got my Reese trousers on that I bought the other day. I absolutely love these. They're the perfect height and they've got like a drawstring weight so they can really like cinch in. And then shoes, I've got my Lindsay um, little square toe mules. Very nice and just like a easy spring outfit. Ready for dinner? I'm very hungry. Are you? Yes. No, you don't do it that way. So tonight for dinner, we are going to the Kingham, which is highly requested by Alice Olivia. Here we go. Oh, there's a car park in there. That's good. Are you getting there? Oh, this looks really pretty. Oh, it's got a nice outside. Oh, you there. I'll stop filming. <laughs> today and it actually doesn't feel like saturday it's so weird um we have just had the nicest morning we had breakfast um and i just sat on our little like balcony out there and read my book which was so nice 
and we've just got ready we're about to leave to go to the alpaca farm and i'm so excited i cannot wait to see the alpacas um and then we're going to go to dalesford after and have a look around the farm shop and have some lunch so yeah it's really really nice and warm outside already so i wasn't really sure what to wear because i need to wear something that's okay for going to a farm and also for dalesford so i've gone for this gorgeous top which is brand new i've just taken the tag off it's from um, a little boutique called by Melina and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like broidery anglaise with these big ruffles. It's kind of like a shirt cropped so it just sits like perfectly where my jeans are. And they actually also sent me the matching skirt which I'm going to take to Ibiza next week. So I'll show you that on my pack with me video. But yeah, I really love it. And then I've also got on my under the stories jeans i love these they are so comfortable just really high-waisted um like kind of straight leg jeans but i cut the bottoms because they were just a bit too long for me fascia trainers nice and comfy and then i'm going to take my same stories linen blazer with me just in case i'm sitting in the shade or it's like a bit windy because i do get cold and i'm also going to take my Sorry, the lighting is like all over the place because of the skylights. I'm also going to take my Loewe basket bag because if we buy anything in Dalesford, I can put it in here. I feel like it also looks quite nice with this outfit. Yeah, very excited. What time is it? Do we need to go yet? Um, 15 minutes. Okay, that's fine. I literally had the best sleep ever last night. I feel like that bed is so comfortable. Your it's, yeah, it's so big, isn't it? That bed's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good. It's so comfy. Like, I stretched out fully in the night and I couldn't even touch you. Oh, what's down here? <laughs> yeah, I really love it. It's so nice. I will leave um, a link to the Airbnb down. It's not much more. I'll leave a link to the Airbnb down below. They've also got um, a summer house, which is next door. They've got two Airbnbs. Um, and they've got like a little garden, sunbeds, a barbecue. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller than this one. We've got two bathrooms. And that one is like one bathroom, one bedroom. And it's a bit smaller. Um, <laughs> why are you taking a picture of me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I really want to stay oh, in that sorry. one. I've actually just messaged Nadia to see if she wants to do like a girl's trip and book it. Um, like the end of May because I really want to go there. This lighting is so bad. Also, I need to do my lipstick. Uh, yeah, so I will catch you when we are at the alpacas. I'm so excited. I actually really want to get a good um, Instagram picture with an alpaca. <laughs> Riding it. Riding it? No. <laughs> Excited to see some alpacas. Yeah, can't wait. Okay guys, we have just got back in the car and we've just left the alpacas. 
I can't explain how amazing that was. It was so good. My cheeks are literally hurting from laughing, I'm not even laughing, smiling so much. It was so good. I just had the best half an hour of my life. And we have decided that we 1000% want to get alpacas, don't we? Yeah. Definitely. They were, oh my God, if you can ever do that, I cannot recommend it enough. If you come and stay in the Cotswolds, please, please look on the um, Cotswold Alpaca website and book. I think it was like 15 pounds each. And it's like called an alpaca meet and greet for half an hour. And you can also take them on a walk, which um, I'd actually really like to do now that we've met them. <laughs> if, um, if it's a really nice day, I feel like that'd be so nice. Because I think you get one each, then you've got your own alpaca to walk. That's just amazing. We're just off to Dalesford Farm now to have a look around the farm shop and have some lunch. I'm actually so hungry. So I'm excited for like a nice salad or something and sit in the sun. It's so warm. So I'm very glad I wore this top actually. Um, so yeah, see you at Dalesford. <laughs> I always like, expect you to do something, but I don't know what. You should. Is that just all the salad or something? <laughs> We are now back in the barn. It's, what's the time, half three? Um, we had such a nice lunch. We went to Dalesford for lunch, which was lovely. And yeah, we're now back. We're actually gonna go and sit outside. We've got like a little private garden linked to our Airbnb. So we actually saw um, Mark, the guy that owns the Airbnb this morning, and he was so lovely. We absolutely loved him, he was so nice. And yeah, so we're gonna go and sit out there and take, um, some champagne with us and just have some drinks in the sun it's kind of like sunny cloudy so i've got this dress on which is from arquette um it's really nice it's like a slinky black kind of like knitted don't know if you can see that fabric it's kind of knitted but i've had this for about a year and i love it it's really flattering and yeah it's kind of like a midi dress and then i've just got this linen shirt as well just in case the sun goes in and i get cold jack's got shorts on ready for the sun and yeah we're just gonna go and have a nice afternoon we're actually eating dinner here tonight we bought some like chicken and salmon and things like that so um <laughs> so we are gonna have dinner here later and <laughs> just being silly um <laughs> so yeah we're gonna have dinner here tonight and yeah, we've got dinner out tomorrow so it's just a nice chilled afternoon which i'm really looking forward to although i hope the clouds pass over because it's quite cloudy but anyway let's go Don't you love it when dogs sniff? They're like... We are still sat outside. It's literally the nicest day. I think it, it's 20 to seven and the sun is still out. I mean, barely. It's quite cloudy, I put my shirt on. It's quite cold. Um, but it is so lovely. We are a bottle of champagne and a bottle of rosé down. I think Jack's just gone in to get another one. But it's so nice. I literally feel like I'm in heaven and we are literally sat here talking about how we want to live here. <laughs> Wine delivery.
speaker. Currently having brunch at the Double Red Duke, which is another recommendation from you guys on Instagram. It's so pretty here. We actually got here and we weren't sure if we could actually have breakfast. It was a bit weird. So we went back, got back in the car. I looked at the website and then we were like, oh yeah, we can. So we came back. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. We've got a little table here. It's quite quiet, but um, yeah, there's loads of tables here. The actual building is really nice. I don't know if you can hear, there's um, some church bells in the back because it's Easter Sunday today. So we were going to actually go to Burford Garden Company, but I just looked online and it says it's closed, which is a shame. And um, we should have probably thought about that because it's Sunday. Oh my god, that bee is huge. Oh. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do now, today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But we've got dinner booked tonight at a restaurant called Sheep on Sheep Street. Sheep Street. <laughs> That's really hard to say. Wow, look at this convoy. Um, so yeah, I'll take you to that as well. I didn't show you my outfit this morning because we were in a bit of a rush. I had to wash my hair and we didn't have much time. But I'm wearing this white dress from For the Reckless. It's quite nice. It's like a knitted dress. I'm glad I wore long sleeves because I'm actually a bit cold. Um, but yeah, I'm very hungry so I'm excited to eat some breakfast. Uh, finished breakfast. It was okay. I don't think I would recommend going um, for breakfast to be honest. Um, I had avocado on toast and it was probably the worst avocado on toast I've ever had which is a real shame. Um, but I was saying we probably would go there for drinks and go there in like the afternoon for drinks because I think it's a really really nice spot. Um, and it's probably a really nice hotel as well. I actually think there was a wedding in there because I heard um, people at the desk talking about the wedding. So yeah, it's probably a really nice place to go for drinks or maybe even lunch, but I don't think I'd go back there for breakfast. Um, I don't think breakfast is quite like a hard meal to get right sometimes. Anyway, um, we are now heading to Borton on the Water to have a little wander around. It's actually a bit cold today. Um, what is the temperature? 15. 15 degrees. It's not that warm and I haven't got a jacket and I've also got my legs out and Jack hasn't got a jacket either. So yeah, it's a bit chilly. So we're gonna have a look around. I really fancy some banana bread. And it's a really nice town, I like it there. Last time we went, it was raining, so we couldn't really enjoy it. So I think it'll be a lot nicer now. Okay, we're back in the Airbnb now. And Mark gave us this little picnic basket yesterday um, with these plates in. And so I've just made this little like lunch platter. We are going out for dinner later, so we don't wanna have like too much. So just this is perfect. Um, this is the salad that's left over from our dinner last night. So we're going to go and sit in the garden and, yeah, enjoy this. guys it's a bit later on now and we are just about to head out for drinks dinner we've got a little afternoon plan it's five o'clock we've got dinner at seven so we're gonna have a few drinks first but this is what i'm wearing so i'm wearing that same blouse that i wore on the first night we went out for dinner because i just love it it's so pretty really easy to wear then i've got my me and m flared jeans i always get questions about these and I absolutely love them. I think they're really comfortable, flattering, they're really soft denim. Um, and then I've got these nude heels on. I really like these because they're such a, a low heel, so they're quite easy to wear. And then I've also got my leather jacket on from uh, Kiwi & Co, which I always wear. And Chloe Mini Sea Bag, Celine Sunnies. And we're ready to go. Ready? Do you want to see what you're wearing? No. <laughs> Jack's wearing page denim jeans, shirt from Gant. I really like that shirt actually. And where are your shoes from? Gant. Gant. And Ray Van Sunnies. Beautiful. And the beard is model zone. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Okay, we've just
just left the kingdom. We just went there for a couple of drinks before dinner. We are now going to the Sheep on Sheep Street, which is another recommendation from Instagram. So thank you so much to whoever recommended that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> now back home in the apartment it's tuesday today the last thing you would have seen was us at dinner at the sheep on sheep street which was amazing we absolutely loved it there it was much more of like a restaurant vibe than a pub it felt a lot more kind of modern i guess it didn't feel like a pub it was a, a much more of a restaurant almost a bar um but really good food i really enjoyed it there it was so nice and on Monday, yesterday, we actually went to, we checked out at 11 and we went to Burford Garden Company, which I fell in love with. And we just kept saying like, we would love to live in the Cotswolds. And I think it's definitely something that we will think about doing in the distant future. Kind of like once we've had children and we've got into that stage of our life, we've been talking about it so much. And I just, I can really see us living there. Um, so yeah, something to think about in life. It's nice to have your options open. We literally had the nicest weekend and I couldn't recommend going enough. The Airbnb was incredible. I've actually just been speaking to Nadia this morning and we've just booked to go back together at the end of May. Um, I'm so looking forward to having like a girls trip in the Cotswolds and yeah, we've booked the summer house with the garden for three nights at the end of May. So I will obviously take you along and vlog that when it comes to it. Yeah, I will leave a list of all the places that we went below and just like my thoughts on them and what I would recommend them for because I think that might be quite useful if you are planning to go. I know my DMs were going crazy with some of you saying that you've just been, you're planning to go, you now want to book to go. So yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and you've enjoyed having Jack in it a little bit more. He just cracks me up. Like he just is so funny with the vlog. He's so awkward and he doesn't really like being on camera. He's not used to it at all, but um, yeah, he does his bit for the vlog. He does his bit. My manager, Amy, always laughs when, he, she, when he's in the vlog because um, he's just so blunt. Like <laughs> earlier on when I said, uh, show me your outfit, he says, no, like <laughs> he's just so funny. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in my next one, which will be my outfit planning video for Ibiza because I'm off to Ibiza on Sunday. So lots more vlogs coming, um, a little bit more summary and I'm very excited. So I'll see you then. Bye.